Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this new tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add the score and the high score. For now we have 0 by default. And each time we pick up a jam or avoid obstacle, it is increased by 1 or 2. And each time we lose, we have this message new high score, which is 30. And we gotta try, so you could implement this system to all of your games, it's the same logic. Now we don't have the new high score message because we have 11. Anyways, before we get started, make sure to smash that subscribe button and the notifications bell, that helps me a lot. And without any further ado, let's dive right in. So first of all, we have to create some sort of score variable that we can access from any script so that we can change it. For example, when we pick up a new jam, we are going to increase the score by 1. And when we avoid obstacles, we're going to increase it by 2 and so on. And to do that, we have to create this variable as static, which means a global variable. And to do that, let's open up the player manager script under player. We've created this player manager script that contains all of the global variables and handle our game states. Let's open it up. Recently we've created the number of jams as a static variable. Let's do the same thing for the score using public static. The type is int and let's call it score. Also we need a reference to the text so that we can display the score using public text mesh pro ugui and let's call it score text we haven't created this one yet we're going to add it under the canvas anyways under the start function we're going to initialize the score variable to zero using score equals zero and under the update function which is called over and over again we will update the text using the name of the text mesh pro which is score text dot text equals score but this takes a string we could use dot to string to convert it or we can add a text like score colon then we concatenate the actual value which is the score now let's create the score text UI under the canvas let's right click UI and add a text mesh pro. Let's rename it to score text as well. And I'm going to move it to the top left corner using Shift Alt. Select this option. And let's change its X position a bit to 20. And on the Y minus 20, or I think minus 10 is fine. This script will update the text to score colon plus the actual value, by default it's going to be 0. You don't have to write that, it will be set automatically from the script. Let's select player manager. And I haven't saved this using Ctrl S. Then let's reference the text under this score text. And let's hit play. And there you go, we have score 0. But nothing is happening when we avoid the obstacles or pick up jams. To do that, let's open up one of the scripts. For example, the player collision. Here we are using the onTriggerEnter method to check if we have picked up a jam. In such case, we are increasing the number of jams by one. With the same way, we can increase the score variable. And because it is static, we can use player manager dot score. And let's add one. Now let's go back. And let's try to pick up one of the jams. And there you go. It's increased by one. And when we replay the game, it is reset to zero. But I think that's not enough. I want to increase the score when we avoid one of the ranks or the obstacles. And we've created this logic under the tile manager. 
and here we are spawning a new tile and deleting the previous one each time we avoid one of the obstacles so we can increase the score under the spawn tile function which is this one we can use player manager dot score and let's increase it by two using plus equals two and that's pretty much it but at this point we are just resetting the score each time we replay the game and we haven't added the logic to get the high score and check if our new score is greater than the previous high score in such case we can display some sort of text to tell the user that he has a new high score and to do that we can go under the game over before we disable the script we can check if our current score using score is greater than the new high score in such case we will display the new high score text and we have to change the current high score to our new score so we have to update the high score but at this point we don't know the previous high score so this is the previous one not the new to do that we can use the player prefs so if you don't know what is player prefs it's basically the easiest way to store some key value pairs and you can't lose these values even if you close the game and go back the player prefs will get the value anyways we can use player prefs dot get int so this takes a name which is the name of the variable that we want to store and it is called the key for example let's use high score and the second parameter is the default value by default let's set it to zero so this is going to check if there is a variable that is stored in a memory location and it is called high score in such case it will take the value and compare it with the current score and if it doesn't exist it will create a new one and assign the value zero to it now if we have a new score we're going to display the new high score text and update the value to the new value score to do that first i'm going to create a text under the game over screen because we are enabling this game object when we have a game over so let's enable it again and let's right click ui text mesh pro i'm going to call it high score text let's move it a little bit to the top by 80 or maybe 120 and let's change the color to a green color and let's center it horizontally and vertically if we have a new high score we are going to change it to new high score then colon and add the value but we are going to change it from the script so let's go back and add a reference to it on top using public text mesh pro ugy and let's call it high score text then under this if statement we can use high score text dot text equals and let's write a new high score then colon and concatenate the new score after that we have to update the value using player prefs dot set int so we use this method to change the value of the high score that is stored this takes the name make sure to write it the same then the new value which is our current score now the next time we have a new score that is greater uh, than the previous one we're going to display this kind of message new high score otherwise we don't have to do anything and i think that's pretty much it let's save our script and go back into unity let's reference the text from the player manager which is the high score text and let's disable the game over panel by default and hit play but for some reason we have the score 6 by default and that's because i have made a mistake under the tile manager we have increased the number of score by two each time we instantiate a new tile 
and if you notice we have three tiles when we start the game let's cut this line and paste it under the delete tile so each time we delete uh, the previous tile we increase the score and that fixes the problem now let's hit play again and there you go by default the score is zero now we have three because it is increased when we pick up a jam and avoid the obstacles and each time i lose we have this new high score message because we have a new high score which is 24 let's hit retry and for now i'm not going to beat the high score we don't have a message recently we have 24 let's try to beat this high score yeah and there you go we have a new one which is 31 so i think that's pretty much it guys for this video i hope you like it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below and i will see you in the next one